I'm not saying that you shouldn't have goals, sure. uh, but for me, I took it to the extreme, like too far. And I remember, um, and, and so the result of that was I felt like I had to make every second of my life productive towards an end. Otherwise I was wasting time. And what that really meant was everybody around me was exhausted and I must've been miserable as a husband, <laughs> right? Yeah. Cause you know, everything had to be productive to these outrageous uh, goals. And um, I felt like the Lord was telling me when, when I brought that to him on that mountain, again, this is all happening that first yeah. week, uh, which is a great start to a, a walking conversation with the Lord. But um, he said, hey, those, those aren't from me. Those goals aren't from me. Go home and print them out and burn them. So I did, I literally went out, pr uh, printed, uh, went home, printed them out and burned them. And he said, print them out and burn them and then come to me every day and ask me uh, what I have for you that day. And I will open the doors I want you to walk through. I'll give you favor with the people I want you to have favor with. I'll close the doors I don't want you to go through and you'll have nothing to worry about. And, and don't, you know, and, and just walk freely and lightly with me and try to stay in the center of my will. And then I'll, I'll just take care of the rest. And it, it didn't mean that I became a couch potato. Uh, you know, yeah, the, the Lord sure. was putting dreams in my heart to, to go and do and passions. But uh, it was incredibly freeing that I didn't have to rely on myself, uh, you know, through that.